After graduating from high school in Bath, Ohio, I saved up enough money to buy my first motorcycle. One of my favorite rides was to go from my town of Bath across the Everett Road Cover Bridge to the neighboring village of Peninsula. The covered bridge was an iconic symbol that unfortunately washed out during a flood in 1975. Through much volunteer effort, the bridge was restored and is now part of the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Ohio truly is a land of covered bridges, with more than a hundred covered bridges still standing. Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and Vermont all have a hundred or more covered bridges still standing. I left Ohio 50 years ago, and now that I'm retired, I live in Southern Oregon, where I recently bought an adventure motorcycle. Yes, it feels a little bit like being a young man again, riding my Yamaha Tenere 700 and exploring the countryside. I was amazed to learn that Oregon at one time had more than 400 covered bridges, and that 54 covered bridges still remain to be explored. Oregon has more covered bridges than any state west of Indiana. In fact, Oregon has the fifth number of covered bridges out of all the states in the United States. Oregon truly is the land of covered bridges. Come join me on this video while I explore some of the covered bridges near my home in Southern Oregon. The 60-foot span Sandy Creek Covered Bridge was built in 1921 on Highway 42, a popular route between Roseburg and the coast. The bridge was replaced with a more modern bridge in 1949. It is now the last covered bridge in Coos County, Oregon. The McKee Covered Bridge is in the Applegate River Valley, west of the city of Jacksonville, Oregon. The bridge was constructed in 1917 and primarily served mining and logging traffic across the Applegate River. The bridge was deemed unsafe and closed to vehicular traffic in 1956. Over the years, the bridge was deteriorating, and in the 1980s, funds were raised and restoration was completed in 1989. The U.S. Forest Service maintains a picnic area on the site, and the river is a popular swimming area. The Lost Creek Covered Bridge spans the tiny Lost Creek, which is a tributary of Little Butte Creek. The bridge is located about 15 miles northeast of the city of Medford, Oregon, in an unincorporated area of the county. At 39 feet in length, it is the shortest covered bridge in Oregon. 
The bridge is officially listed as being built in 1919, but records show that it may have been built in 1878 and remodeled in 1919. That would make it the oldest standing bridge in Oregon. The covered bridge was replaced with this concrete bridge in 1979. Like many historic covered bridges, the Lost Creek Covered Bridge is adjacent to a small picnic area and park. The Antelope Creek Covered Bridge is located in Eagle Point, Oregon. The bridge originally spanned Little Butte Creek a few miles away, but was moved in 1987 to its current location at the Veterans Park. The bridge was constructed in 1922 and served to cross Antelope Creek between the towns of Eagle Point and Medford. Like many other covered bridges, a more modern bridge was built to replace the wooden structure. The bridge fell into a disrepair until citizens in the city of Eagle Point moved it to its current location where it serves as a pedestrian bridge at the Veterans Park. a short tour of four of Oregon's 54 covered bridges. As you can probably tell from looking at the video, the covered bridges are no longer being used for the most part. Uh, they're just uh, historical remnants of a, of a bygone era. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll go see the other 50, but as my travels take me north and through the Willamette Valley, I'll probably stop and see them. I really enjoy looking at covered bridges and doing a little bit of research to uh, find out what their history is. Uh, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this little trip. Uh, if you did, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my senior moments.